Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today's question of the day is, what if you introduce your date to your friends or your family and they just don't like them or vice versa? What do you do? Okay, family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. Thank you if you are watching on my Facebook fan page and also thank you so much if you are watching on my YouTube page. I really do appreciate you guys. Absolutely. I cannot do this and build my community without you liking my fan page or subscribing to my YouTube channel. So thank you once again. The second thing that I want to mention before I answer this question is definitely do not forget about my online courses. Absolutely go ahead and check them out. I kept the prices low specifically for my community, but they're only for a limited time. So definitely check them out while you can, Why it's at a cheaper price. All right. So now what if you introduce the person that you are dating to your family and friends and they don't like them or vice versa? Let me just say, usually, Usually your family and friends can absolutely see something in the person that you cannot see because you are you're too close to the situation. So you can't see some of the things that your friends or your family might be able to see about said new partner. Okay, so let me just throw that out there first of all. Your friends and family, something about in their intuition is letting them know that this person is not good for you in whatever way that they are feeling. And especially a woman, if you bring the a woman around another woman, then usually we can tell something. It's something about a woman's intuition. We can pick up on some things that are just not right. Now, I'm not saying that you have to take your family and friends advice wholeheartedly to, to in order to like just say, you know what, let me throw in the towel and walk away. However, you should absolutely take heed to what they're saying and start to watch to see if you can absolutely see these things in your new partner. Sometimes we have to take off those rose colored glasses and actually see what's right in front of our face versus what we want to see. And all of us are guilty of that. I am no different. Sometimes I'm in the relationship and I'm just like, you know what, this is going good. This is going good. And in the back of my mind, there's something in the back of your mind that's absolutely telling you that something is not right. But because you want to be in a relationship, it happens to be with that particular person, you are pushing forward with the relationship. All right. So just keep that in mind. But I do have some other tips that I want to throw in there too, because sometimes it's not what the other person is thinking because they are not in the relationship with you two, okay? All right, with all of that being said, the very first thing that I want you to keep in mind is that it is up to you and you alone if you want to take the, the advice of your friends and family over your boyfriend or new girlfriend that came into your life. It's up to you. Don't let these people get into your ear so much that now you just are ready to walk away wholeheartedly without giving them a, 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 a forget a second chance forget a third chance without even giving them a second look you are ready to walk away because you do value what your friends and family are saying but you also have to take take heed and, and keep in mind that this is your relationship like after it's all said and done, this is your relationship. So you have to handle your relationship the way that you want to handle your relationship. As much as possible, I've said this before, as much as possible, keep as many people out of your relationship as you can. But again, this one in particular is for you just now introducing and then they just don't like them for whatever reason, okay? The next one I kind of already said, which is make sure that you are taking heed to what the family and friends are saying. But overall, at the end of the day, it is your decision. OK, third thing you have to keep in mind is the advice. First of all, think about the advice that the person is giving you about your new partner. Then second of all, think about the where the advice is coming from. Who is in your ear telling you about said new boyfriend or said new girlfriend because they can have an ulterior motive. Now, you would hope and pray that your family and friends want to absolutely see you happy and they wouldn't do any of this unfair, crazy stuff, want to see you um, not happy for whatever reason. However, that's life. Everybody around us and in our circle don't mean that they want to see us happy. And that's just the reality of it. It's sad, but it's just the reality of it. So pay attention to the advice and then pay attention who it's actually coming from. 
Do they mean you well? Have they given you some good advice before? Or did they give you some shady advice and now here they come again? Just keep that in mind. That's all I'm saying is keep that in mind. The next thing that you are probably going to have to do is to tell your friends and family to respect your decision for now. You know, at some point, maybe it won't last. But don't, again, don't let those people get into your ear so much that now you just throw them to the wayside. Because before you went over there, you and said partner was doing just fine. Y'all was having a happy-go-lucky time. And then you introduced them to your friends and family. And all of a sudden, everything about this whole aura, your whole relationship, something about it has changed. So keep that in mind. Finally, I already mentioned that sometimes friends and family have ulterior motives. And this is another one, which is the whole jealousy factor. I mentioned before in one of my other videos, Misery Loves Company. They might even be, like I said, jealous of you. And everything about your life is something that they wish they could have. They might even secretly want to be you, want to secretly have your life. You just never know with people, right? Because that's not something that we walk around saying like, I want I want Keisha's life. I want Sam's life. I want Marshawn's life. I, no, you, you, you'll you say out loud, I want my own life. I like my life, da, 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 right? All of that. Yeah, yeah, you be doing all of that. But deep down inside you're like I wish I had her life so what I'm gonna do is plant this seed that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna plant this seed and then maybe their relationship will crumble and then I can have my girl back then I can have my main cousin back then I can have my best friend back being selfish too so keep all of those things in mind yes you can start to watch and see like I said take off the rose colored glasses if you must and that is something that needs to happen with every relationship Anyway, is to take off the rose-colored glasses and to actually see what is there in front of you and not what you want to see. That will absolutely take away from so much of the unnecessary drama, unnecessary misunderstandings, and everything that goes along. Keep the lines of communication open as much as possible. Hear what your partner has to say. Hear what your family has to say. But make your own decision. All right? Definitely Give me thumbs up or a like on this video. Share it with the people that you know need to hear this. And of course, subscribe to my channel if this is your very first time or like my fan page, depending on which platform you are listening to me on. I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.